that you do want to count it. You can't kill me! Imagine yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, but you're recurring way more. Hello guys! Welcome back to another update video on my multiplayer project. If you're new here, this is my multiplayer game I'm working on. A first person action shooter game with multiple game modes that can be played in a variety of team sizes. I've been working on this unnamed multiplayer project for over a year now and it's awesome to see that it's come so far. This is now my 10th update video I've made to show off my progress, so thanks to everyone who has been watching my update videos along the way. Alrighty, let's jump right into what I've worked on since the last update video, starting with the ship map. I have now fully color textured the lower deck interiors of the map, as well as added some extra props around like doors and boxes to add more cover in the hallways. Here are some before and after shots. As you can see, the map is looking a lot more finished and I will now consider it done. But of course, the map will continue to be tweaked as we playtest it more. The next thing I implemented is melee items. There is now a new melee item type, which is essentially a close range weapon. And the first melee item I added is a simple combat knife. I modeled it in one of my live streams and then I implemented it into the game. It can be used to attack players in close range, and if you manage to sneak up behind them, it will kill them in only one hit. The swing animations are also randomized between a few different animations to give variety. Now that I have this melee item implemented, I'll be able to add all kinds of short range melee weapons in the future. Speaking of items, I added a simple item equip animation. When you switch between items in your hands or pick up an item, a simple raise animation plays to make the item appear more naturally. Before the items just instantly teleported into your hands, which was a little jerky and didn't feel nearly as smooth. Also, there is now a small delay before you can use the item when you switch to or pick it up. You shouldn't be able to be shooting an automatic rifle and then instantly switch and shoot the sniper rifle. This delay will help prevent switch spamming these items. Now the biggest thing I worked on is the lobby. This is the new lobby map. As you can see, it's much bigger now to allow space for players to roam around while waiting for the next game to start. I went for a kind of overgrown stone ruin theme. You can see that there's this tree growing out of the center and vines along all the walls. I put some stone pillars in the distance to give some depth and added clouds in the sky as well. Let me know what you think, but I like it so far. These screens you probably noticed here are used to vote for the next map or game mode to be played. Players can easily vote by selecting the screen of the map or game mode they want to play next. When the lobby is put in autoplay mode, then the game will automatically restart as the map and game mode with the most player votes selected. This way, the games can continue to be played without an admin needing to start it. Some other small things I added to the lobby are countdown sounds. Now a ding will play to notify players that the starting countdown is happening. Admins can also now specify in the lobby settings what items players will start with and if players can change their items while the game is being played. I will most likely be expanding and adding more things to do around the lobby in the future, but for now there's a short parkour route. Or you could just have fun trying to make the tallest tower of players. Now you guys have to all walk at the same time. Oh shit. Keep crouching. Okay, ready? The last thing I wanted to just briefly mention is that I'm working on implementing client-side prediction, but it's definitely not stable yet. I'm not going to talk about it more right now though because I'm going to leave it for a future video when it's hopefully working a lot better. And that's about it for this update video. 
make sure to click on the playlist in the end card to watch all the previous and future update videos on my game. I hope you liked this update video, and I really hope to see you in my next one. Until then, thanks for watching, Zippy out.